my big Lisa-ism right now is your business is only as healthy as you are. Think about that. If you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not getting plenty of rest, if you're not eating right, if you're not exercising, if you're just not taking care of yourself mentally and, and unwinding, your business is going to become unhealthy too. Um, but um, we have to find that time sometimes just to write down those systems and procedures because we might work four or five hours on something, but it's something that's going to release us from doing it in the future and give us many more hours accountable. Now here is the mistake I see small business owners make. They come into my office, we do, we sit down and we talk about this. Oh my gosh, I put somebody in charge of a project and it came back and it's not at all what I asked them to do. Okay, don't take it back. Give them the opportunity to get it right. Our tendency is to grab it back and take control. You know, think about your kids. You know, I remember when <laughs> my kids were little, you know, a lot of times it would have been a lot easier for me to pick up after them, for me to put their clothes away, and then they, you ask them to do it, and things get, you know, shoved in the shelves, and towels are hanging out of the doors of the cabinets, and, but it's about learning how to process and do it correctly. Um, if you take back that project too early on, I mean, if sure if they don't get it after three or four attempts right maybe you don't maybe you didn't match their quality their qualities with the project right but if you take it back too soon without letting them attempt it again talking it through with them again giving them that chance you're going to kill that ownership and you're going to kill that trust mm -hmm. so you want to be really careful about that The first one that I am not a fan of, I absolutely hate. Did you hear that? I hate multitasking. Hate it. It's passion. We get multitasking and we think, as small business owners, that we're getting more done. But if you challenge yourself to look back at your to-do list at the end of the day, when you've spent some time multitasking, I bet you'll find that you cannot check off all of those projects that you were multitasking on as completed. Maybe you start, maybe you spent a little time getting a couple of the items in that project done, but I bet you didn't get them all completed. Um, when you multitask, it takes you about 40% longer to complete a project when you are flipping back and forth between projects, you make more errors. And this is some, one of the things that causes small business owners to feel overwhelmed and non-productive. You know, when you check off something on your to-do list, it's a very motivating factor because you create a synergy with your business because you don't feel overwhelmed and you feel productive, which then sparks you to do more in your business and cross more off your to-do list. So small business owners tend to hoard their work. Raise your hand. Who in here has trouble delegating? Mm -hmm. I see a couple hands going up, right? It's hard to do. I saw somebody with two hands up. Love it. Delegating is so hard when you're a small business owner because your business is your baby. When you have put your blood, sweat, and tears, your hours into your business, and you know that you are helping people with your business, it is really hard to let go. But what you need to remember, and I call it focusing on your brilliance, you know, you need to focus on those things that you're brilliant at. Generally, that's why you got into business in the first place, because it reflects the skill set you have, your brilliance.